After all this, I know I'm going to have fast now. You guys. <laughs> So I can see this boy is removing my wig on oh, camera. I had done. I couldn't talk. My stomach was rumbling. I pulled on myself. Our so thumbnail should be mommy with monster horns. It's fat, eh? Like, I somebody wants to come and marry me. I remember. This is a lecturer in the UK. I think this that we were very small and that's what we were just going through. We had the, we had the disturbing child. <laughs> So I have my <laughs> Hi guys, welcome back to Yummy Mom Life. So I have my yoga ones here. I don't know my brother is laughing like a fool. And today we're going to be just kissing you guys about growing up in an African household. My brother is a civilian. Where it comes from, you know our camera. Very low. Take two. Action! Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is King Yere, and today we're going to be talking about just growing up in an African film with Nigerian parents for that price. And that's my sister Kshoma, aka we'll see. A lot of you guys were surprised that Kshoma is my sister, and I don't know how we, we've done a lot of videos, so I was not surprised how people were always commenting. Amazed. Saying, oh, it's we'll see your sister, we'll see your sister. But anyway, I'm the first born, I have a sister after me, and then this is the third born, and that's the fourth and the last born. I'm going to be kissing you guys about how we grew up. Uh, it's a lot different in the Western world. For for Africans, we are very stuck up, we're very uptight, very uptight. I think uptight is one of the words to describe the way African parents raised their children. So, um, when we were younger, my mom was a stricter person. My dad wasn't strict at all. At like, all. our dad was not strict. Daddy was everybody's favorite. I'm telling you, like, we loved and, him so yeah. much. He was just, he was just that parent that you would go to when there are issues or when mommy does something and then you expect him to just you know just calm you down and then maybe just talk talk to our mom for beating us or something my mom was not my mom was an uptight mother she was that mother that you would have swimming classes in your school and she wouldn't let you go exactly she was that mother that would open caprice from the bottom you know there's a part of capriso where you put the straw in where it's written insert straw my mother was that mother that would not insert the straw that she would put the straw at the bottom and it made it not fun like exactly. we didn't have fun exactly. drinking capriso like that wanted exactly. to drink capriso the way children exactly. drink capriso yeah. this um, local ice cream that they sell we never took any of that i'm kind of happy that Mommy we will always say it's backyard ice cream exactly it has to be fun, has to be fun. fun. it's not fun, fun ice cream, ice cream. and you, you cannot not beg it. in school you can't take it you can't and beg we didn't take money in school when we even said taking money, how much was it? We didn't take money. Right. For me, I took naira, money. I took naira. money at some point because my school says selling paper vouchers in place of money. So when you get to school, you you drop like fifteen naira. They give you fifteen naira paper voucher, so you can now use that to buy. If if not for that, I was not. My mother in never fact, allowed us because we would always have food to school and have snacks. Exactly. So, it's so like, why, yeah. why and up till now, I still have a friend that was in my primary school, G Day. He would still always tell me about how he remembers that my mom would always give me very very plenty food mm -hmm. like lunch time i was always the queen of the class i would arrange the rice arrange the stew arrange the chicken yeah. and we ate well we ate well at least that's one thing they knew was for in primary school yes we did we did another thing about growing up in an african home is that i don't know if it was only my mom that would that was always doing it but the moment you break something ah, <laughs> hey, Jesus. Nice. one thing i remember i did was when I was younger and we're trying to mimic people that smoke I remember ah. so well that we carried paper mm -hmm. and then we rolled the paper we burn it and they were like you guys the paper fell on the floor I remember one side the paper fell on the rug and was still on fire and the place caught fire yeah come on and die that day <laughs> you guys know how way back my grand homes where you mm -hmm. rock the whole serum so that if you want to turn the rock it means you're going to lift up all the furniture mm -hmm. and then turn the rock around mm -hmm. it was impossible so do you guys know what i did we, i think we took paper or album because we had like a center table that had like albums under mm -hmm. so i put it under the on the floor and then i took the center table and put it on top of it but i mean how long can you hide that my mother okay. still saw it and <laughs> i remember my cousin that stays in the uk now my cousin was around my mother beats the heck 
out of me. I'm the first she one. She was so always beaten with wooden spoon. Yes, oh, wooden spoon, spoon for oh, what? Oh, oh, nepa wire. She is nepa wire. Mm -hmm. She never used nepa wire for me. It was stubborn people like you. I know, babe. I think later on she says in the I know that oh. all through when I was younger, wooden spoon I met sometimes slippers. And she was always and that slippers is because property. she cannot reach wooden spoon. True. So you know it has to be emergency. You know how beaten needs to be fresh, like you know fresh from the chest. If it just comes, it just need to attack immediately. I used to have a photo shoot and. Um, we had an uncle that worked at AIT. I think it was Cowbell or Pick Milk. One of them. I think Cow was it Pick Milk. And then the day before, the day we were supposed to have the photo shoot, we were all at school. That's how my mom came to pick us up. Prize had cocoa on his head. There was a big bump on his head. Apart, the story was about how somebody, somebody was jumping staircase. Tunde, I think. No, I was, I was running down now. You know, you know, fast fast staircase was very long, and then I was running down. So after after we closed, I just ran down. Then I couldn't stop. On that particular my, day, my race you couldn't just, stop. I couldn't stop. No break. You ran no down break. the stairs. My break was fell my down. break. My break just now had my break failed. So I just went. Brrr. So we went for the photo shoot with his head like, like this. That. I'm telling you. Okay. I'm sure you were imagining you the beating for me. Do you have a we have a picture now, do. but I don't think we ended up using it for the no, we didn't use it. shoot again. Oh, no, that the no. photographer was telling us, don't stand like one no Do you yeah. remember? Yeah. <laughs> when we were younger, when my mom was cooking in the kitchen, it was always expected, which is uh, fast. I need to cue this in. Dear mothers that have little boys, please make sure your boys enter the kitchen as much as the girls do. Mm -hmm. My daughters are not going to marry lazy ass men who mm -hmm. can cook, who yeah. can clean, who can help their wives in the kitchen. Mm -hmm. That is nineteen eighty something. It's not gonna happen now because I remember when we were younger. My mom, I don't remember my mom ever telling my brother to enter the kitchen. Mm -hmm. My mom would always hammer it like, "You guys, like, you why? What are you doing in this room?" And it was so annoying angry. because we didn't want to cook. I wasn't interested in being in the kitchen. I'm kidding, like, interested in being in the kitchen, mm -hmm. even at you know a very young age. I wasn't interested, and I used to just, you know how you would just stand at the door and just be watching her. After a while, when she's like so into what she's cooking, we just go to stream, watch TV. But then I suffered it the most because I was the oldest, so yeah. I had to be there. My younger ones can decide not to be there, but I had to be there. And the, it, I think after a while, when we grew up, it was now it became a thing where we all had to be there. But then what my mother would do is that anybody that misses out, you know, coming to the kitchen, first, she will first of all eye you. When the food is being served, she will eye you. So you already know that you did something. Your conscience, eh? Yeah, when she now brings the food, food, the meat that you will see on top of your rice, <laughs> my <laughs> dear sister, the next day you will not want to repeat it. The you. meat will be small, but then she had like, and apart from even coming to the kitchen, when you, when you do something wrong, you know how there were days my mother would have an enemy among us. Mm -hmm or enemies among us and then there were days when some of us would be close to her so if you are a friend that day you, mm -hmm. might, ah, you will enjoy food anything but that person that did that wrong that day mm -hmm. and my mother i think i think she held things a lot yep. it, it, it 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 would always linger for a very long time so mm -hmm. if it's food your food won't be nice your food mm -hmm. is not going to be attractive mm -hmm. throughout that period until you are kind of settled things or like things just <laughs> ease up there was a particular day that Price went to buy sweets for me. No, I didn't go. I didn't. I didn't go to buy sweets for me. Wait. I went to Kwanku's house. Yes. <laughs> but you came back. Oh, yes, yes. And and I, I, asked I went to school. I told you to buy me sweets. Wait now. I went to Kwanku's house, my friend's house in Omolia Estate. Okay. After school, we've been going there. And after school, we go there. So after school, I went to Kwanku's house. Then the plan was just go there, talk small, and come back to school. So that time, you know, the car. How did you come out of the gate? The security man was, was not. No, was no, he wasn't strong like that. Because, because, no, no, no. People that go to the houses to by themselves. They, but you uh, know, they, our parents would always out. pick us from school. They will stand up. So me, I, I went there now. The normal plan was just go there. You guys would just mm -hmm. on the road, just mm -hmm. morning, just come back. So from far, I heard a sound. You know, the sound of the bands that time was different. The horn was different. Mm -hmm. So when I heard that sound, I was like. Okay, maybe it's all these ice cream sellers because I've, it has happened before where I heard sound that I thought it was my mom and I ran back and it was those ice cream sellers. So after everything, I said no. So we went, by the time I, it was not time for me to come back from far, I just saw someone raging and raging and shouting. <laughs> 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 
from very very she far. So immediately I just one. cornered into one a bookie shop and I bought this cook cook sweets that that mm -hmm. Coca Cola sweets. Mm -hmm. So that I'll tell her that was what I went to buy. So by the time I went to the gate, she just looked at me, just gave me the eye. After seeing the eye, I already knew I was dead. Get man, she told the gate, abuse the gate man. Yes. What were you doing? She has said, enter the car. Mommy was so fat. She so that was like, and she's not like that. Like now, now nobody has that kind. Like, really. let me tell you guys one embarrassing thing that happened to me when I was in secondary school. In GS3, when we were moving to SS1, we did one exam that was it was so scary because it was like if you fail, if you didn't have up to six credits, you repeat GS3, and if you did, then you enter SS1. For some reason, I don't know how um, papers were marked that year. But when my mom came to my school, to, I schooled in Nigerian Navy Ojo, so my house was really far. We we're living in Ogba, I was schooling in Ojo. So coming all the way to Ojo was even very difficult. But then my mom came to collect my results and then to take me home. So she came to my, she went to the staff room, collected my results. You guys, when she opened it, she saw to repeat GS3. First of all, I can't tell you guys how I felt. Because I felt like the girl should open as well. I'm like, we beat GS3, I don't understand. And then my classmate was like, you didn't get up to six credits. And I was, I was shocked. I came to pick me. So I sat near her. We drove all you guys all the way from Ojo to Ogba. I couldn't talk. My stomach was rumbling. I wanted to poo. I didn't under, like I was so scared. I wasn't scared because of my dad. My dad wasn't even the problem. Mm -hmm. But my mom was the, the kind of fear that she would put into me without even talking. I was scared, you guys, my stomach was wrong me. Do you know that right before we got into the house, I pulled on myself? I don't know if you guys know about I it. remember the story now. So immediately I entered into my house, I went straight to the bathroom, and then I took a shower. You guys, that was like the worst day of my life. You know the funny thing? Okay, during that holiday period, because SS1 girls, serial girls were making their hair. So obviously, since I was meant to repeat, I had to cut my hair before going back to school. As, you know, going to repeat GS3. I cut my hair, I actually cut my hair, then I got to school and then we're now told that there were a lot of mistakes that were made and that they had to remark. Mm -hmm. You guys know that I was promoted to this as well. Mm -hmm. You don't think you guys don't think you're I went, I, 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 I got to school. At the end of the day, I got back to school. It took about two to three weeks when we got back to school for us to find out that we were finally promoted to SS1. So practically the GS3 girls had seen us as they are mates. I know juniors are very funny. They can't wait. It's like they are just there waiting for hey, who is repeating? Let us say that we get senior that's repeating that will now call by name, we won't even add senior. So it took a it took a, a couple of weeks before we everything was rectified and then you know they, they finally promoted us to SS1. So yeah, that was what happened. I remember that very, very vividly. You have they, an injury are, and then the best thing for you to do leg. is just to be sleep child. To sleep yeah, because by the time yeah, she yeah. comes back, it's the beating that will wake you up. Yeah, ah, yeah, so yeah, I thought yeah. there should be mommy with monster home. It's fast, eh? Like, I'm holding with this. I hit my leg. I hit my leg on this suck away, this suck away thing that now. So I couldn't walk like this again. I started bending my leg to walk. Mm -hmm. I thought I was crippled for life in that period. Do you know when I went to mommy? First of all, beat me. Then Auntie oh. Evelyn was at home. So Auntie Evelyn now helped me massage it with um, Ori. Ori. And they have been massaging this leg for me for over a week, every day, Imagine. morning, after I come back from school, mm -hmm. and in the night. I, I, I don't Mommy think never massaged this thing for me for once. My mm -hmm. mom, that time, will look, she will look at me and she just be eyeing me and abusing me. And he cousin himself, and they have been put my leg on her. Mas Do you I remember when we told you to go and play football? I can never, never forget that. You're injured right now. Yeah, I think I was wrong. Then later, I don't how later after, after some time, I remember that one. After some time, my the, the leg, and I noticed I could start putting the leg down, down gradually. Mm, I probably was later, in school when all this was stopped. happened because I was away for a little The ball the one that I injured. The ball was in front. Now me and you were playing. I think me and you were playing ball. Mm. And now I wanted to kick the ball. So my leg just use leg. Bam. Died. On the concrete mm. ground, mm. everything just. Ah, yeah, 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 then yeah, yeah, yeah. Choma, Choma too has had many injuries now. Yes, no. The one that shot my hand. The one that shot my hand. Then the two one that the two was crying. Then all of us will now gather. Four of us will now gather. I'm thinking of life. You know, you know, you know what? You know what? It's not that it's not that it's not that you won't get beaten after the lie, but the lie will reduce your beating. Exactly. I remember when I broke TV antenna. After I give that, mommy will always, always in the middle of, in the middle of her beating you, she will yeah, yeah. tell you, I will beat you. You will ask me from your mother. I will ask that question so many times. If blood does not come out, I will not stop. Hey!
<laughs> what kind of life? I think that we were very small, and that's what we were just going through. Wait, I'm telling it was you. Uh, man. We had the, we had the, we had the disturbing child. <laughs> when we walked into our house and told us that we always whisper when we are talking when mommy is in the stereo. <laughs> Someone came and told us that whenever we are sitting in this stereo, mm -hmm. and my mom is there, we don't talk loud. Right? That's the logo talk the whole way. It's, it's, it's as if it's as if fear was the fear was there, so we we just got used there to not. There were happy times, so, but still, yeah, there were happy there was times. Normal fear of okay. what? Okay. It's Remember how we used to line up to ask Chichi for that drink? Gary, Gary was a big thing that time. Because I just got children now. Grab bring milk. Chichi will not bring me half spoon. Chichi will not bring me half spoon. She will not pack it for herself. She will not pack. Oh God. Ah, friends will not be with friends. Best man things. She was drinking milk and Gary, not Gary. Best one things. <laughs> and renting film too. 16 naira. Okay, yeah. And one thing I remember about that renting film was that when it's time to rent film, me, I never used to have money. Never. I never used okay, to we have money. Yes, now. Yeah. 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 You will not tell me that you yeah. lock me in the guest room. You so that you won't want. I'm telling you. I, I never used to have money. <laughs> so that one was like, you don't want our money. You lock me inside. I will massage. I have suffered. I have gone through a lot. Five naira, ten naira. <laughs> I'll just lie down, spread myself. Tell you I'll pay her 10 naira. Oh my god. god. <laughs> All the times of watching Super Story, this life. Ghana's daughter. Cartoons. What we saw what Ghana's daughter. Um, and what the bastard. Ah, I always follow it to my mom. Yeah. Yeah, remember Friends. Saturday, Cadbury morning breakfast. Oh no. A whole new dimension. Family, entertainment. It was good. Damn! It was good. Mm -hmm. It was good. Time to play game with her. It was good, but my mom, her mom was just extremely strict. Extremely yeah. strict. And the funny thing now is that now she's nothing close to that. Like, nothing. I don't even think she's going to be strict. But if you see who she's going to be strict with, exactly. Yeah. Who do you want exactly. to carry it out for? You better wait to just. It was you people that really had me being like, strict. Mom is yes. more like a. Me as the younger yeah. one, I don't think like, by the time we got to my turn, like she had already calmed down. 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 No power for all this. I don't think, Chichi, I don't think when you were like my. My age, they will let you go out and stay out at night. I could not. It's not quite. There was a day, eh? This time I was writing Jambo. I remember so well my friend Dokwe, myself and her, we were we were in lesson together. So we someone audition where they say audition to be an actress. That's the food I writing Jam to enter uni. Why are we going to do audition for actress? The place was in, I think it was the name of the place that starts from P. Egibo and Egbeda was in Egbeda. So my friend came to my house for us to go. We went to so my dear sisters and brothers. On our way there, my my dad said he called me and said, Where are you come? I open the gate, I'm in front of the house. So we go. If yeah, <laughs> no get my friend was like, What do we do? Should I drop him? I said, No, don't drop him. You follow me. Mm -hmm. Because if you follow me, you won't be able to do anything. Mm -hmm. That was how my friend but I know there's something about when you do something and then nothing can be done at the moment. And with time, when they go out, when they go out, they come back into the that faded. Yeah. Many of them will see your friends and then they act the same way that they will ask. True. True. But my dad is someone that wants to see True. their friends, you just yeah. respect yeah. himself. True. So my friend was there, him and my mom came back together. By the time they came back at night, everything had died down, so nobody would ask. Bring boys, boys, bringing boys home, man. Henry. Henry, you don't remember Henry, your number one? That fair boy. Uh, uh, Henry, the third guy, Francis' brother. Francis okay, okay, right. That was the guy that came one. to my house. Mm. A belly. That's it. That was. I remember. A belly. I remember. One very fat guy that used to wear suits. That came with wine. Help me, came with wine. No? Wine and yam. Wine, 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 wine and yam and abi. Ah, no yam. Wine and something. Oh, I remember the wine. It was wine. So that wine, that wine made it very distinct because it's like. So he was a thing about man. it now. He, he just brought wine. That's what I'm saying now. But then it wasn't like that. Yeah, he was a groomsman. I was a bridesmaid at my cousin's wedding. And then he was the only person that I really talked to during the wedding. And we're talking on the phone. You guys said now, wow. We're talking on the phone, just kissing. And then the guy said he was coming for a conference or a church program. And he was asking if I knew about hotels. What do I do? As small as what do I know? I can't know that there's one hotel I used to pass on my road. We went together now. Imagine if people see the hotel, you will cry. Um, B starts from B hotel that doesn't have one. No, no, it's like in that's what in like in that's what I went to get Bob's for the guy. Bob's 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 we went to get that. Yeah. Yes, now that was why I went to um, get. get we yeah, went. I remember. I went to make a marriage for the guys. So that's where the guys stayed. If you see this place, Ew. 
I remember you, very much. Well. for was me. Dark. You will be like, hey, why will you do this kind I'm of telling, thing to somebody? And you. the guy came and the guy stayed there. Only for the guy did not call me the night that they don't have light. He said no. that again is not working. I was like, this guy was comfortable enough to pay good money for a good hotel. But then and he just went to my recommendation. So the next day he came to my house and he brought a bottle of wine. Help me. Bringing wine to my parents' house is like That's a so. Through the wine. Throw the wine and we wine. drank the wine. Imagine, throw the he drank wine it. I think it was. And it's funny that after he told them to throw wine away, some years later, when I was in school, they brought one guy. You remember, Mama Yuzi. Mama Yuzi is really uh, Somebody wants to come and marry me. I remember. This is a lecturer in the UK. Imagine. I, me I remember the so night I came downstairs. I saw Mama Yuzi and her husband. husband. One very tall guy. I remember the guy was tall and fair. I remember. I, remember. I mean, he was a doctor. He's a doctor now. He's a doctor, yeah. but he's a lecturer yeah. in the UK. That's how I'd have gone to marry UK, man. For don't day, for don't day, you can do YouTube <laughs> for UK. Oh. <laughs> My mom, <laughs> mommy was, mommy is very I'm popular on the streets. Very popular. In fact, now I hate any, any street that we live in. I hate street walking street on because living. you have to greet because she greets exactly. and everybody knows that everybody's her friend. Mm -hmm. So by the time you bring one person to your house and Chichi then when she's escorting her friend, she must carry me. <laughs> I used to follow Chichi everywhere. So we'll now escort whoever it is. By the time mommy is coming back and she's greeting everybody on the streets, they'll be telling her, ah, they just saw this one, this one. Mm. She will now come back. I remember the day mommy beat me to the library door. I was on the library door like this. Hooked. Hooked. Nowhere for me to pass and go again. What happened? They said between the me. And it wasn't and me, or it was Chichi. Because the beating was that. So me too, I escorted Chichi. Mm. Ah! You were not in the house when recently now, my friends came, about three guys. They came to the house. That's just to hello hello. So daddy drove, daddy was in front, they, they were behind. So daddy drove, he was expecting me to, me, I was coming to open the gate for them. He was expecting me to lock the gate. After then he saw that another car drove him and I stayed inside. So when I went to the car to greet him, he said, who are those people there? I said, my friends. He said he saw about three men. I mean, this was like <laughs> maybe two weeks ago or so. He said he saw about three men. I said, yes, now they're my friends. He said, okay, I should just help him carry his bag inside. Like, no, they don't, they don't. Imagine. It's three not men, fast now. Uh -uh. Not one, not two, three. They've calmed down. They've calmed down. It's not for you to say. Being uptight, it doesn't. It doesn't, doesn't it really. Doesn't really mm. Mm. What is right is more right. You just teach them. You more your, your, yeah, your children, children just become. become. Just say one bosa. You are not gonna be I feel like it's good because. We've learned a lot. The mistakes that my parents made with me, I definitely would not make my children. It's not, it's not just not possible. It's not possible. So, it's not, well, that can't be all, but then that's the most Some of my experiences. Well, follow me on IG, Gone Be Rich Forever. That is G O N B E R I C H F O R E V A. So let's be on the screen. And then my sister. My Instagram is Choma underscore Okoli. And then me at Yummy Mom Life. You guys have suggestions of videos that we should do please leave them in the comments don't forget to give the video a huge thumbs up subscribe to the channel and leave us comments let's continue this conversation below if you're nigerian if you're african yeah. what are the things that you experienced growing up as a child it's really things that you know you don't want to do to your children please you guys should let me know in the comments thank you for watching i will see you guys you. in the next video bye, bye. bye.